So today we're going to finish out our bench seats, which means we're going to take uh, our birch and we're going to uh, cut it to fit, trim our edges, and install the hinges, and hopefully it clears the uh, front of the trailer. So let me show you what we have. We have our piece of birch that we're going to use. It's half-inch birch. We're going to put this on here. And then I have about an eighth of an inch gap here at the front. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scribe that, trim that to fit, and then I'll trim the back so the front and the back sides are uh, nice, nice and flush with the with the base. And then we'll cut our two inch strip for the back section, install our hinge, and then we'll cut the front part and the back part and uh, install the hinge on this side and then it should open and close just the way we want it. So let me show you what I got to trim. So on the front section I have just a slight little gap here because the front of the trailer kind of curves towards the front. And so we're going to make this flush, just like the back edge here, and then uh, and then we'll trim our back pieces. So let's get started. First thing we're going to need is uh, our handy dandy pencil. All right, stay tuned. So how I'm going to do this, I think, is I have a a bat in here. It's probably about yeah, about a, almost a quarter, about three sixteenths. And I'm going to set this up against our edge, like this. Make sure it's flush with the front and our bottom. And then I'm just going to mark a line. Just like so. And very faint. You can see you can see the amount that we have to trim off all the way to zero at this corner. That's pretty good. That's a nice straight against the wall and uh, it needs a little bit of an undercut because if you can see it's touching here on the bottom but not at the top. So all I have to do is just bevel that edge and that should, uh, should suck that right up against the wall just like this edge here. See how well we did. Alright. So 
here we go. Here's the side edge coming around, back edge, and then coming towards the front. And you can still see my pencil mark on here. But nice, nice and flush. I like that. So now we can uh, take off the back section here and uh, trim that to fit to fit the bench. Cool. Stay tuned. So while the uh, this is the bottom side, so while it was turned over, I went ahead and marked my line where I need to cut it. And there's about a 16th inch difference between one side and the other because it had to be trimmed to fit the front wall. And so what I'm going to do is the uh, same thing I did for this edge. I'll take, put my straight edge on here as a guide and use, uh, use my router to go ahead and cut this piece off. That will give me the cleanest cut and uh, it will follow that line exactly. So that's how we're going to cut that one. So what we have so far is we have the front edge trimmed. We made sure it fit nice and snug. Then we trimmed the back edge to make sure it was nice and flush. And then we took two inch strip for the back. And now we're ready to install the hinge. The hinge was about 30 inches and I needed uh, probably just a little less than 24. So I had to trim the hinge and file the edge. And then I'm going to place the hinge kind of centered in between my uh, my opening. And now I'm ready to install the hinge and I'm going to fasten it to the seat. And Once I have it in place then I'll remove the screws for the seat and then I can be able to trim my front edge, my back edge, and I also trim the front once it's complete. So at this point, I'm ready to go ahead and install the hinge. Now what I'll do is go ahead and drill the rest of my holes, put the fasteners in, slide this in place, get it fastened, and then mark all my lines to uh, do the trimming. So stay tuned. Okay, so I have the back edge of my hinge installed, and I have drilled the front end and I installed the screws here on the end and then the middle to uh, help center it. Then I went ahead and marked my line that I'm going to have to cut off right here. So from here to here is 21 and almost a 16th. So I'm going to set up my table saw and uh, cut that. Then I'll have it pretty much flush all the way around the edge. Then next I will go ahead and cut the back section right here and I'll cut the two inch edge section here and reinstall the uh, lid, fasten the hinge and then I'll fasten the, the ends and this side will be done. I still have one side left. Alright, stay tuned. Okay, so all my wood is trimmed. I have the pieces cut and right now they're just setting on there and I slid everything into place so it is fitting just the way I hoped it would. So my next step is to take these pieces and fasten those down both ends then I will fasten the hinge and that side will be somewhat complete. Okay so without further ado I'm gonna get to stapling Stay tuned.
right, next step is to put the hinge in place. Fasten that down. Does it open and close and clear? Ooh, look at that. Yes. It sure does. Nice. Okay. That one looks good. Happy with that. Got one side done. And uh, be nice and clean in there once I clean up. Remember, I got my corner pieces in here to help support the top cap and all that goody good stuff. Nice. And I'm going to show you what that looks like when I'm sitting on that bad boy. Now I've got one more side to do, and uh, that'll be done. All right, next step. Okay, so we started on the other side, and just like we did on the previous side, we uh, trued up the front edge, made it flush with the front, and the back is nice and flush. And we also trim the back section here, flush with the base of the bench. Our next step, is to cut our two inch strip here in the back and then we'll cut the front section here and uh, be able to put the hinge on at that point so stay tuned I do believe that's it. Oh yeah. Nice. Okay. We got done today what we wanted to get done. So our bench tops are on and they're operable and it works nice and smooth. Oh yeah. That'll be nice and comfortable. Now comes the good part. That will be cleaning up, and then I'll show one more shot after it's all cleaned up. All right, stay tuned. 